It's time to unlock your creative freedom. Hi everyone, I'm Charlotte from Pictory and we're really excited to show you our latest feature. Introducing Layers. This feature is designed to empower your customization. Let's check it out. The first thing you're going to want to do is head to your Pictory account. You can either create a brand new project or open an existing project. It's currently cherry blossom season in Japan, so I've created an explainer video on this. Within the visuals library, there are lots of beautiful videos I want to experiment with. And because of layers now, I can add more than one to each scene, which is really exciting. Just look at all these beautiful cherry blossom visuals. Firstly, head to the new layers icon here. This will take you to the layer page where you can see your different layers in each scene. I want to change my background color, so I've clicked on the color fill icon. And here is where you can select a pre-made solid color or create your own using the colour picker. Next, I'm going to select my visuals layer so I can resize and move it. So here I'm just moving it over to the right because for this scene, I'm going to create a title page. Then I've clicked on my caption layer. I'm going to content slap down. Then I'm going to move it exactly into the center of the scene. I've added a space just so then Welcome to Japan becomes the title. I'm also removing the background colour as I now have a pink background so I no longer want that colour. Then I'm moving the image over just so it sits next, nice next to the text. To add a sticker, select the Elements tab, type in what you would like, select your chosen sticker then click on it within the scene so you can resize and move it to your desired area. For my next scene, I want to create a grid of four different visuals, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Select the visuals tab, find one that you like, then add another visual as a layer by clicking on the plus icon. This will add it to your scene. You can then select it, resize it and move it to where you want it to go. I'm going to do this two other times, so I'll speed this process up. You can also add a colour image provided in our visuals library to act as a colour overlay if you wished. You can do this for a colour, gradient or texture. Simply click on the plus icon, enlarge it to cover the full screen. Head back to layers, then you can select the layer to move it behind others or if you want to hide it, select the eye icon. If you want to preview the scene, click on this play button and then you can watch your scene in action. For this next scene, I want to show you something else you can do. Select layers, click on your background image, then select convert to layer. This then creates a background layer. If you add an image from the visuals library without selecting the plus button, you will lose your original image. Now I'm going to make sure my background colour is the same pink as my first scene so it is consistent. Now I'm going to show you three different ways you can style layers within a background colour. You can have one like this where it sits just above the text. Or you can enlarge it so it spreads across the screen with a pink block underneath to frame the caption. like so. The third thing you can do is decrease the size, make sure it's central within the scene so that another visual can sit beside it. So head back to the visuals library, I'm searching Japan Cherry Blossom. I'm going to find another visual that I think will sit nicely next to it, add it as a layer, and then I'm just ensuring that it's the same size as the visual next to it. And then this is how you can have two visuals playing beside each other. I think this looks really nice. You can then click play to preview that scene to see how they look playing next to each other. What I'm going to show you on this last scene is how you can overlay two visuals at once. Go back to visuals, find one that you like, then add it as a layer. Resize it and move it to the desired area that you'd like. Then select the background visual to convert it as a layer. Then what I'm going to do is reselect the background again to make it pink so it's the same as my other scenes. 
Then I'm going to click on the background image again, enlarge it so it covers the full screen, bring the opacity right down, going to go back to the layers tab, move it underneath the visual that I want on the top. I'm going to bring the opacity down just a bit more. Then I'm going to edit my caption so it gets rid of that pink background. And then here is when you can add an animation. So I'm just changing the speed as it was just a bit too fast. And then select preview to view your video so far to see how it looks and flows. With layers now available, the possibilities are endless. The team at Pictory can't wait to see what you create.